Hello and welcome to Clever Paws. It is time again for another video with the Animal Artist Collective. The theme as voted by you this time is Extinct Animals and I had a hard time deciding on one, let me tell you. But first, the usual spiel about what the AAC is and does, I suppose. The Animal Artist Collective was created by Jennifer Charlie from Jennifer Charlie Art and Denise from In Liquid Color in March of 2018. Every other month, the members get together to create animal-focused art based around a common theme for 2018, those were bios, and it has now changed for 2019 to animal groups. I will leave a link to the Facebook page of the collective where you can vote on the next team and check out the members of the collective. I am not a member myself but I like the challenge that comes with it and of course I like animals. So I try to get a piece done each time. I finally settled on the Pyrenees Ibex, a type of mountain goat once plentiful in the mountain range between France and Spain called the Pyrenees which gave it its name. The Ibex I am focusing on here is one of originally four different subspecies with the Portuguese Ibex having gone extinct some 200 years prior. The medium used was another thing I agonized over before I finally settled on colored pencil. The one thing I had decided on early on was the splittered layout of the illustration. But a bit more about the Ibex before we go back talking about the art. The Pyrenees Ibex was a type of mountain goat that lived in the south of France and the north of Spain in the Pyrenees Mountains in its most central, highest, most inaccessible areas. The Ibex went extinct in 2000 mostly because of overhunting. It is survived by the Western Spanish of Gredos Ibex and the Southeastern Spanish of Begete Ibex where the Portuguese Ibex had already become extinct. The Pyrenean Ibex's hair varied with the season, short during summer and long in winter. The fur around the neck stayed long all year round. Even during summer, the fur of the male stayed more of a grayish when that of a female would take on a more prominent reddish tinge. Young animals would have had the same coloring as the female. The horns of the male were large and curved both back and outwards. The ones of the females were almost like deers. With advances in genetic science in 2003, a living specimen of the Pyrenean Ibex was born but died shortly after because of a lung infection, thus making it the only animal to have become extinct twice and for a brief period unextinct. Of course, bringing back a species from a very small genetic sample means that there is only ever going to be a very small genetic variety in it which generally increases the affinity for contracting disease. Where success with the techniques to bring back extinct animals becomes very important is when it comes to reviving animals such as the woolly mammoths, which in northern Siberia lived as long as about 3000 years ago. In its search for food, it disturbed the snow, which in turn kept the permafrost soil exposed and frozen. For the illustration of the Ibex, I used my Derwent colored pencil, especially because I don't trust myself enough with wet media for such a small and detailed illustration. As usual, a list of all the materials used can be found in the description below. The broken tie layout I chose because it is an extinct animal but also gives the impression of a puzzle since it has already become an extinct one and efforts to bring back different species are ongoing. 
I think I went a bit too brown with the fur on the male, but if the species is going to be brought back by cloning, this is a real possibility to happen in the future. What caused me the most trouble sketching were the horns of the male, and one I had to actually resort to tracing the curve of the center line and work it out from there, and then only to get it somewhat. When I finally had a design that I liked enough, I then emphasized the outlines I wanted with a fine liner so I would find my lines again later. Afterwards, I cut it into pieces and stuck it back onto a blank piece of paper before transferring it onto the one I used for the final illustration. For the background, I went with an abstraction of a mountain, just grayish stones and adding some blue and some pinks for a bit more depth and adding shadows. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you next week.